Hey, what's going on guys? Michael from Spruce and Sharp here. Hope you're all doing well. And in this video, we're taking a look at the Grim Grease Cream Pomade, which is a pretty new addition to the Grim Grease line that actually quite a few of you have reached out to me and asked that I take a look at this product. So for those of you that have been keeping waiting for a little while, I do apologize. And I hope this video is worth the wait and that it answers some questions that you may have about this product. Also too, before we begin, I also want to put a little disclaimer out there. This is not a sponsored video by any means. I was not sent any free product, nor was I paid to do this review. View, and even if I was, it wouldn't affect my opinion. All my opinions are my own and they always are my own. They are not bought or influenced in any way. But yeah, now with that out of the way, what exactly is the Grim Grease Cream Pomade? Well, it's a water-based product advertising a firm hold, a medium to high shine, and a smooth and creamy application process. Francisco recently released three new products to the Grim Grease line. There's this cream, there's also a gel type water-based and an oil-based. He's also coming out with a paste and a matte cream later, which I will look at in addition to the other two products um, that just recently came out as well. So I will review probably all of those products in the very near future, but we are going to start with the cream. So it comes in this four ounce amber glass jar with a very beautiful label. It's a slightly off-white matte background with some metallic design work, some metallic lettering. Uh, it's red and navy blue for the design work and it also has a really nice lid label that matches very, very well. Opening it up, you do see a nice white creamy, lotion-y looking product inside. And the scent is this sort of citrusy, musky, cologne type of scent. Uh, Francisco at Grim Grease always has really great scents, or always some sort of like cologne blend. So this one's really fresh, it's very inoffensive, and when the product actually settles into your hair, you won't even smell it at all. So it does go away pretty quickly once it settles in, unfortunately for some of you, but nonetheless, it will not be offensive by any means. Also too, worth noting, when you do buy the product, you do get this really cool box that comes with it, which just makes opening the product for the first time that much more, I guess, pleasing. It just really enhances the presentation of the product overall. So really nice job on the packaging. But yeah, let's get into the product itself. Um, as we saw, we looked inside, it has that nice lotiony, creamy color to it. Scooping it out is absolutely hassle-free. And as we should predict, it being a cream pomade, it breaks down like absolutely nothing. But I would say you want to avoid breaking it down uh, too much. You don't want to uh, overwork the product in your hands because the product will get really, really sticky and really, really tacky. You just need to rub your hands together like three, four times and then just put the product in your hair. And as we can predict, in damp, towel dried, or dry hair, this product is still pretty easy to apply. In my experience, I've had no pain or discomfort or tug and pull or anything like that applying this product to my hair. And this is about three scoops of product in my hair. And as you see, I'm left with some really, really nice shape. And the one thing you can notice is that it's definitely not a medium to high shine product either. I would say in this direct light from my bathroom, like right over here, it looks like a nice low shine product. But, you know, going throughout your day, it'll look pretty much like a natural finish. But that's fine because the thing is, you know, if you want to restyle, but maybe you don't want to do anything slick or neat or anything like that, you can finger comb it because it has really great control that way. It is a pretty versatile product. As you see, I'm able to just finger comb something, no problem. And the one thing I noticed was that some people say this product hardens a little bit after it settles into the hair, but I didn't notice that at all. I'm able to comb through with this product, no problem. It stays really nice and soft and creamy and malleable, yet it still has a good waxy hold to it with a good amount of stickiness that just helps keep everything together. And it's not that like dry hairspray type pasty stickiness that we see with some cream products. It's like that nice smooth waxy stickiness that does a really good job of helping you keep an overall style together, but without being difficult to run your hands through or run a, uh, run a comb through or anything like that. It's not like a discomforting stickiness or anything like that. As you see, it makes restyling a very, very easy process if you need to. Because I would say, you know, Francisco at Grim Grease is also known for making really, really strong products with some really great hold to them. And this one is no exception. I have no problem getting my whole day done with this product in my hair. It doesn't really fall apart on me at all. And that's pretty impressive because this product is really lightweight, but it also has the perfect amount of hold and a great amount of stickiness to help you sustain that volume. So you don't really have to worry about any major touch-ups. For me, really the most restyling that I do with this product is if I want to do like a finger comb look later in the day instead of a really slick or neat one or vice versa. But yeah, so um, rinsing it out, all you need is one round of shampoo and it comes right out of the hair. Uh, you can get a decent uh, amount of it out with just water, but one shampoo will take it all out completely. 
So I guess final verdict, this is pretty quick. Uh, this product is excellent. This product is absolutely phenomenal. I would say it kind of challenges a lot of conventions about what you think like a cream might be, especially those of you who used a lot of store-bought creams in the past. I noticed with a lot of store-bought creams, they were basically like putting in hairspray after they settled into the hair. Uh, for me, you know, you find something that's like stronghold cream on the store shelf. Put it in your hair, things will be nice and soft and creamy, super easy to run your fingers through, but then it becomes dry as a desert and it feels like you uh, put hairspray in when you really didn't. This one's not like that. It stays soft, your hair feels really nice and healthy with the product in it. Uh, it's very easy to run your fingers through with this product, yet it also has really, really awesome hold and it doesn't sacrifice hold and the hold stays around pretty much all day and just really amazing control. One thing though is it's definitely not really a medium to high shine product. That is not true. Definitely a firm hold, but definitely more of a low shine neutral finish product, at least in my experience. Now, uh, I also found that this product also was very similar to a few other products I looked at in the past, like the First Hand Supply Company Water-Based Pomade, the Ace High Company Original Pomade, and the Anchors Away Stronghold Pomade. All three are very similar in the sense that they both are really, really creamy and very easy to apply, have that really amazing like lotion-like consistency, but when they settle into the hair, they firm up and they get a bit more sticky, they get a bit more waxy, they have a lot more hold that comes out later. But this one is just so much more refined than those three, in my opinion, because it still stays really soft and creamy and it still feels really nice running your hands through your hair. It's not overly sticky or overly waxy, yet it still keeps its hold. I think it kind of builds on those products that I reviewed in the past, but then like excels them, like does even better than they do. And just is really, really refined and a pleasure, pleasure to use in my hair. I have really enjoyed using it and I highly recommend that you guys check it out. So with that said guys, this was a review of the Grim Grease Cream Pomade. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and don't forget to subscribe and check the description for a written review where I go into more detail about this product and I will also have a link to where you can find this product for yourself. And then also too at the way, way, way bottom, I will compare this product to some others in the market right now to give you guys a better idea of how it might work for you. So with that said, it is time to go hang out for the night, probably edit this video, get it up on YouTube as soon as possible. So you guys have a good one and I'll see you all soon with another video.